Hey everybody, Soybean Farmer. Monday afternoon, just got home from uh, work at the cigar shop. We had a nice little rainstorm. Well, storm blow across North Carolina last night. A lot of rain in it. Um, I'm gonna come out here and talk about this land that I put this diagonal uh, cut on with the uh, finishing disc. I'm delighted. I'm standing down here on what had been a problem spot. Um, right here. Now if I had not put those diagonal cuts out there like that, water would have run down that hill, hit about right here and formed a wash right down through here and brought dirt out as far as about right here. That's what would have happened in this spot and I would have had to take a little blade and pull it back up in the field. But uh, these diagonal cuts <coughs> created as the disc, you know, comes back and comes back and laps itself. I'm getting up to the first, well, there's the first one. This would be uh, about the second one right up across there. And that's about the angle I had on it. So what I'm envisioning happened is the water got in these ruts and it slowed it down enough that when it came out this way, there was not enough force left in it to grab dirt and bring it out. Now, that little clump right there is my mistake uh, with the disc getting started in and out of here. And I will take a blade and pull that back in the field to get my line back right. There were two clumps like that one right here. And I did take the blade that day and pull those back in. And that was just for me not totally understanding how to come out of the field on an angle with that um, disc. But this was one of the problem spots. As you can see that land rises pretty good on up that way. And we had two heavy downpours and then there was probably a total of about three hours of steady rain. And I don't see any of the kind of washing that I'd had before on this field. So I'm tickled to death with this. We'll go up here and check this other spot that had been a real problem area and see how that came out looking. F-150 pickup truck and I'm looking at my storm damage. Uh, it's a limb. These are pin oaks that grow up and down my driveway beside it here. And this morning when I left that limb was hanging down right there and I just kind of pushed past it with the Toyota, hoping that no big delivery truck would come down this driveway today while I was at work. Because what he would have done is he'd have gone around it, and by the time he'd have got to where I'm sitting, there's enough shoulder here that when he tried to pull back up on the driveway, he'd have left big tire marks in there and messed it up. And uh, leaving, well, he'd have made a whole nother set of tire marks over there in that ground and messed it up. and annoyed me but that didn't happen and I'm out here now with the pole saw I'm gonna cut the thing off and I'll show you when I just kind of push past it how it's gonna brush my windshield here and I think about right there will let me stand on tailgate with the pole saw oh yeah coffee Oh good. Yeah, I busted my windshield a couple of weeks ago, right there. So now it's a true Billy Bob truck. Got rust dents and a cracked windshield. I gotta get that fixed. Now, that limb's up there. Pole saw here, such a wonderful tool. That out here like that. Extend this with this. Nice feature there for some reach. And I cranked it at the shop so it should crank right up. Crank. Wow.
that is a wonderful tool. Well, clean that up. That's out of the way. Wanted that lamb off of there anyhow. I need to get a couple more of those off. And that one down there. I ought to go do it now. Oh well. Yeah, this field right here is uh, grown back over with this. I don't know what that stuff is. Fuzzy stuff. Annual winter weed, some type of mess there. But the only thing I've actually done in that field was vertical tillage, cutting up the uh, soybean residue, surface residue. So I haven't actually tried to disc that field with the uh, disc set so that they would do any kind of disturbance to the soil. I'm holding back on that. It dropped, that cold front came in last night and it dropped it down. It's about 50 degrees this morning here. It felt good. We had a couple of 80 degree days and that was I dread summer. Hot and miserable. Well, let me clean this up. We'll go check out that other spot up there. And I can already see from here it looks great. But we'll get up there and take a close-up look. The other spot that had been such a problem. And for uh, subscribers who were watching Soybean Farmer last July, this line right here, I had a major washout. Um sand mostly and you can see some white sand piled up right there it's where the I let the disc pull it out to the edge of the field but right there you can see one of the ruts at the edge of the disc leaves uh, right here is the other side of it that disc if you run it real light it won't leave the ruts like that but I was trying to get the lime um, down in the ground about an inch so I was, I was I dropped it in and let it roll but I'm tickled to death with setting up this field on this diagonal like this because like I said we had two real good heavy downpours last night and right here you can see I still got the grass um, there's no washout and right over here was where it happened last year and if you look up there uh, Last time I was talking about the diagonal cut, I was standing on the other side of that rise looking back this way. And I don't know, but I'm guessing from where I'm standing to the top of that is probably 12 feet, might be 15. And all that water, the way I had uh, run a disc on this field year after year, I went straight up that way and straight back this way. And the two end ruts I'm showing you would be there. Of course, when I took the seed bed finisher with the rolling baskets and totally smoothed it out, um, you still had no restriction whatsoever for that water coming off the top of that hill and just racing down this way. Um, so I'm, I'm leaning heavily. In fact, I'm pretty positive what I'm going to do. When I work this field up for planting, I'm actually going to plant it on this diagonal so that uh, the drills will create the little diagonal slots um, until the field gets back compacted. Water will hit those little uh, drill slots and hopefully I can avoid big washout down here if we have that kind of rain this year. But I remember last year the, I'm going to go out here to about, it was about right here. I had pure sand from the edge right here. It was a mess, uh, big mess. So I'm looking to try something different this year to avoid that uh, same kind of mess that I had last year. And of course, I'm doing it for what I got. Um, no till is just not an option. Uh, I don't see it as an option. The sky would open up and drop the money in my lap out of some complete and total surprise for me to be able to go and convert this operation to a no till. Well, everybody, I just thought I'd give you an update and see how well, how pleased I am with this uh, diagonal cut on this field. It's definitely going to be done on the other fields to level them out. Um, did a lot of good on this field where year after year of running that way had created a waviness in land like that. Um, 
and that's just one diagonal cut. I'd actually thought about just to see if I could get the last little bit of that waviness out of it where I'm on that angle, turn it and go this angle. Of course, I don't think that would be a good idea leaving it on this angle because this angle is going to be the way to work with the water. Uh, can't make water run uphill. <laughs> you can try it, but I don't think it works without some type of pump. Well, everybody, I've been Soybean Farmer. Thanks a bunch for subscribing and watching my videos. A little cloudy out here. Bye, y'all.